I want to talk about a few things. And the most important thing I want to talk about is our children. They're our future. The most important door a child walks through for their education is the front door of their home. And they'll learn some fundamentals at school, but the most fundamental thing they can learn is what they learn at home. For too many kids in our city, on L stops on the way to school, at bus stops on the way to school, in their classrooms, there is nothing in their eyes and it's not a look that I would ever accept in my own child. It has been their youth, their promise, their future, their hope has been ripped from them. And it is wrong. They can see downtown. They can see everything in this city. All the promise, all the future, all the excitement, all the energy. But if they cannot see that city in their future, we will never achieve what we can be as a city. And the only place that we can bridge the difference between the promise of downtown and the promise of their eyes and what they want for themselves, because every child wants it and every parent wants it for their child, is in church, is in classrooms, and is in the home. And if those three things are pulling together, we're going to be just fine. But my challenge, which I will challenge all of you, is to keep our game up to what we've seen over the last week. I think there is real introspection going on and some questions that we usually do not ask each other being asked. And if we do that, and if we do not step back, but we step up, we're going to be fine. But if we revert back to the other behavior that I have seen and all of us have seen it, that this is somebody else's fault and this is not my backyard, then what happened here will not be a lesson of learning, but it will be a statistic. I do think this is a group moment that we will rise up as we have always as this city to meet this challenge. I have absolute confidence. My father always said to us from Isaiah, who are you if you're not for yourself? What are you if you're only for yourself? And if not now, then when? And that, my friends, is a question that we all from the city of Chicago must ask ourselves.